Greetings and welcome to the latest edition of Caring About Seniors. I am your host, Adrienne Houghton. Now, each week I sit down with Dave Stieglitz, the president of Oasis Senior Advisors Jacksonville, and we discuss all aspects of senior living. Today, we're delighted to welcome Nicole Ruff, who is the family counsellor for Arlington Park Funeral Home and Gardens. Welcome, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So before we get into anything else, what is a family counsellor? A family service counsellor is just that. We're going to provide services and counsel when you come into our funeral home and need any kind of cemetery needs. We will counsel you through all the questions. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of different questions in there. For, for a start, it's not the easiest subject to tackle. Absolutely. So, I mean, I'm sure there's That's people fair. sort of going, oh no, what are they going to talk about? <laughs> well, the fact of the matter is that we're all going to pass on at some point yes. in time. It's 100% guaranteed. 100%. Yes. So, tell me the difference between funeral and cemetery and cremation. You know, there's so many different things going on there. Yeah, so... A lot of families will come in and they'll use that verbiage interchangeably, funeral and cemetery. So cemetery will be dealing with anything um, out in the cemetery. So that'll be um, spaces, plots, mausoleums, um, family estates. That'll be uh, dealing with your markers. And Funeral is everything that happens before you get to the cemetery. That's when a loved one passes, we bring you into our care from home, hospice, or hospital. And then that's refrigeration, that's a embalming, that's your funeral services for visitation in our chapel, um, casketing, cosmetology. Those are your funeral services. Wow. I, 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 I didn't quite know that there was so much involved. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of different aspects that a lot of things that happen behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know about till they come in and they're like, wow, there's a lot of things going on today. And it can be very overwhelming, especially about, at a time that, you know, yeah. when it's difficult. Yeah. Talk about pre-planning. What percentage of the families have actually pre-planned and have this all laid out and say, this is what I want done versus, oh, my gosh, this happened and nobody did any planning. And now we got to do it from scratch. Do everything from scratch. So that's the hardest counseling session that you come into, um, and it's called an at-need family. That's when they've already had somebody pass, and now you're helping them make all their arrangements, and they haven't had any pre-planning done. So all of that financial obligation and um, emotional burden falls onto the family. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they have family, you know? Mm -hmm. So with all that financial obligation, you can take all of that away from your family and just come in, you pre-plan, you make your arrangements in advance. Your funeral arrangements, your cemetery arrangements, how you see it and bring it for yourself. You know, and then your family service counselor will guide you through all the questions so we don't miss anything. And it's just all done when your family comes in at that time. Do you, do you link with any um, lawyers if, if people are, are putting their wills together? Do they sort of specifically say, well, I want to have this, 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 and this, and that's already linked to something that they've done with you? It could, yeah, absolutely, because we will bind everything with a contract. Mm -hmm. um, the money that you pay in goes into a trust, and um, you can give all of that to your estate planning um, your attorney, your lawyer, and also we provide a free um, estate planning booklet that you can get notarized and it'll be all done, or you can just fill it out and give it to your attorney as well. So all the questions that people perhaps forget to ask themselves, you've got written down that they can kind of tick a box oh, almost. absolutely, absolutely. We work it through one by one, and the first thing that we do is just simply have a conversation. You know, what do you see? What has your family traditionally done? Do you see that for yourself? What is your spouse, you know, So is this how do? you start to, to the pre-planning uh, Absolutely. conversation? Absolutely. It's just, you know, just a very simple conversation. And that's what we're really at the heart trying to do. Just educate our families on all of their opportunities because there's a lot. Yeah. 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 And I could see how it, people could be hesitant on making some decisions when they are unaware of 
all of the opportunities. And then they just kind of push it off. You know? Have you found yourself involved with some of these these newer things like, oh, I want to be, you know, put into the base of a tree or I want to be turned into a diamond or Absolutely. whatever? Absolutely. Yeah. And so we do provide that. that well, <laughs> not the tree. <laughs> not the tree, but the, the, you can do the diamond. And you don't even have to be cremated to do the diamond. You can just take pieces of your hair and turn that in and they'll make a diamond with so, it. So hang on, yes. hang on. We can just do it now. Wait, okay. You don't have to wait to pass. So, really? You, you could take just... my hair and turn it into a diamond? Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. You'd be a beautiful diamond. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, I was told that you had to be cremated and then the actual, mm -hmm. the ashes, mm -hmm. create a, a yellow diamond. Yeah. So there's, there's that option as well. There's oh. also a fantastic, um, it's called, oh, gosh, it's a, it's a reef project. And what they do, it's called Eternal Reefs. And it's a great project. And you get cremated by us. And then your family takes the ashes down to Eternal Reef. And you become part of the reefs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, the options then yes. are tremendous. And people don't know this. It's mm -hmm. a ca case of, oh, well, either you're going to be cremated or you're going to be buried. And that's not the case anymore, yeah, is it? Yeah, there's just so many options. It's, oh, my yeah. goodness. So Another advantage of pre-planning. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 just, just go home and think about, yeah. wow, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I would like to be per perfectly preserved in a Chanel suit and a Bombay oh, sapphire. We can blue make it happen, you know. With yeah, some purple in there we somewhere. have a blue coffin. <laughs> Stop. <Yeah. laughs> Stop. No. So why do you think that people hesitate before they do this? So it's going to be a multifocal. Right. It's going to be because either they don't think they can afford it. It might be a financial. Not everybody can pay 100% for their funeral, which is just fine. If you have $20 in your monthly budget, you can get started. Honestly, you just prioritize purchase. You can, which is just piecing out what you're going to do. You don't have to have a full package contract laid out. You can say, you know what, I'm just going to get my mausoleum space for me and my significant other today. And okay. And then once you pay for that, we'll start adding on other pieces. So you can get started for very little or you can just pay for the whole thing um, and we finance in-house so there's no credit checks and you just work with us to figure out what's comfortable for your budget also it's just because people are just they just don't know all of their options and mm -hmm. they don't do themselves the benefit they don't give themselves the opportunity to learn before they say no so if they just come in and have a simple conversation, or we can come out to your home, we do that as well. And in a couple weeks, in two weeks, I have a presentation for a whole family. The siblings are coming over with their spouses, and we're just gonna talk about what their opportunities are, and they can make it as a family. Now, is that something new that's, that's, uh, that you're doing with Arlington? It's going to, I, it's not necessarily new because there's always been family estates out there. Right. And so people do think, plan ahead, and they think, okay, I'm going to purchase this and we can be together. And it makes it so much easier for when a loved one comes out, they don't have to go all, all around the cemetery trying to find you or from cemetery <laughs> to cemetery. You know, you're right there at your family <laughs> estate, right. which makes it so much nicer for your family. Um, and especially years down the road, somebody else passes in your family and now that spot next to you is taken, so now we have to put you somewhere else. And oh, so it's I just see. so nice to have a family estate, and it doesn't cost you any more. You it's know? as simple as that. Yeah. Keep you all together. Mm -hmm. How wonderful. So what's new at Arlington? Our newest adventure out there is we're building a brand new mausoleum. And it's going to be, have an interior that will be locked and the key will be given to your family. So it's gonna be very private. It'll also have the exterior mausoleum crypts as well. Um, inside, it will have a chapel and it'll be climate controlled. So a nice AC, um, you'll have glass front niches and niches are a place where we would put our urns for cremation instead of a larger crypt for a casket. So can you be cremated and then still be sort of 
placed in the ground next to absolutely it, oh you don't have to be no you can make uh, you yeah you <laughs> i'm can, not sure about the technical yeah no word you're or right. the pc word it's ashes no. adrian it's ashes, ashes they can ashes, be put anywhere cremains uh yeah. cremains. <laughs> okay. yes but cremains. but let's use verbiage that everybody you know yeah. is aware of and, and uses so yes the ashes very can completely be interred into the ground. Because I'm not sure everyone really wants to just be in a pot on a sideboard somewhere, do well, they? <laughs> well, and then a lot of the times you would be surprised to see how many of these urns end up at Goodwill. Or they get put aside into a closet because what happened to great uncle Bob and now he's in the closet and what is this? And okay, we're just going to take this box to Goodwill. Yes. <laughs> Look up the statistics <laughs> on that. It happens very often. A lot of a lot of parents will say, "Oh no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give my urn to the kids." And I'm like, "Well, are they aware of that? Mm -hmm. You know, do they <laughs> want it? Yeah, do they? You it's know, what creepy. Are, yeah, it because I, I mean, I love my mom, but I don't think I'd want her urn on my mantle. You know, and some loved ones they'll they'll bring home their loved one on an urn and say, "You know, I'm just not ready to inter him or put him into a niche." I just want to keep them with me for a little bit. And while they come in and they're making plans and arrangements, they can be go home with mom and then be back at the cemetery. <laughs> we what? have to smile yeah. about this because mm -hmm. it's a subject that nobody really wants to approach, mainly because when you're young, you think that it's way off into the distance. Mm -hmm. And when you're older, it's slightly closer. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so it's a difficult subject. What do you think the most important thing is that you would like the audience to know? I would just like to let you guys know that if you just started off with a simple conversation, um, just have the conversation, you'll see how easy it is to plan and not leave your family with any emotional burden or financial yeah. burden. That's the biggest piece. Yeah, and great, let's face it, yeah. wouldn't it be nice to go to somewhere and see somebody that looks like Nicole <laughs> talking to you about something that is a little bit sad? <laughs> it can be, yeah. And yes. also, you, we have, when we pre-plan, you actually laugh a lot more than you would think, yeah. you know, because you talk about all the options mm -hmm. and... Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming in and thank sharing you. this with us. I think it's it's... It's certainly been enlightening. Oh, good. Because I found good. out a little bit more than I did before, which is always educational. And that so. you're going to be a diamond. I'm going to be a diamond. <laughs> and you're going to be a diamond. I am. Yeah. Yes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> We're diamonds already. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Nicole. Thank you. And don't forget, if you'd like to know any more information about Arlington Park Funeral Home Cemetery and Gardens, you can also find it at iwantabuzz.com.